So now I'm going to go through and show you how to create a program like that. <clears throat> I'm going to go into top menu and under program operate I'm going to say new job and I'm going to name that new job and I'm just going to put in a series of fours to make it easy and hit create job. That'll start with the start and the end for the job. Now the robot is currently in the position you saw where I ran the program job one time so I can start the job right in that point right there by just hitting the teach button. If I hit the teach button it's going to add servo power is off, it has to be on for me to be able to teach that point. Servo power on, I hit the teach and at that point it drops in joint move, speed, etc. Now with this smart pennant capability I have the ability to be able to just touch a button and be able to move that in any direction that I'd like relative to where the pendant is. So I can put that in a position uh, where I'd like it to be, move it up, down, right, left, increase the speed of those moves if I'd like. So I'm going to move it down and I'm going to move it a little bit left, kind of to the point where we were picking before. And you'll have to trust me on that. I'm going to try and just focus on the screen for now. So it's a new point. I'm going to teach it. And then I'm going to go back up again. I'm going to go right over to where I'm going to set that part down. I'm going to teach a point there. I'm going to go down to where I'm going to drop the part. I'm going to teach a point there. Go back up to where I was. Teach a point there. And then back over left and teach a point there. Now I could go ahead and put comments in here but for uh, ease of use I'm just going to walk through this. So uh, that was my starting point up above. This was my point down at the bottom and if I uh, touch the button over here that says go to point the robot is actually going to go to that position as I watch it move and it says target position reached. So right after I get down to that point I'd really want to fire a digital output to grab the part so I'm just going to insert a digital output right there. Generally you put a timer in behind it. Uh, that timer is time for it allowed to settle on the part, grab the part. And that's a kind of a trial and error thing for you. Uh, then it's going to move back up. It's going to move over. It's going to move down. So this should be the down position. I can verify that by just hitting the go to button. And I'm watching the robot go over to that position. And I missed by one position. Looks like I don't have the down position in there, so I'm going to hit down from there. Go up a little bit so I don't get that motion speed error. Teach a point there. And right after that point then, digital output, I'm actually going to turn it off at that point. Again, a timer to be sure it releases the part. So you can go into any of these and I can change that output from on to off. But that's the basics for setting up a session like that. The only other thing I'm going to do is go in here and edit the speeds for each of those values so that they're a more tolerable speed than the low number that's put in there for it.